guys. Let's see if it's working. Good, it's working. Um, <clears throat> they've moved the buttons on the Facebook Live on my phone, so I have to um, switch it up a little bit. Happy Fabulous Friday, you guys. I am uh, wanted to get on here and give you guys a, um, a little tutorial on a card <clears throat> based on free items, free items you can get from Celebration. Um, the uh, totally free items that you can get from Celebration, and that those are um, in the Celebration. I'll show this to you here. Um, there's this little small catalog. Message me if you guys want a catalog or a Celebration, um, a Celebration brochure. <clears throat> this inside of this are all the things that you can get for free when you spend a minimum of fifty dollars. So in increments of fifty dollars, you get free items. So, and we have a new catalog as well. So that is amazing and I can't get enough of the new catalog. It's super cute, but I'm not showing you all the catalog information today. I'll sh maybe do that tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to make sure I got you guys a new thing. Now that I'm finally feeling better and you can hear it in my voice, I'm not gross and sick like I have been. So that's good. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be using this super cute stamp set today, which is called, um, awesome otters which I love otters I'm from California and I used to love going to Monterey to see the otters there it was it was just one of my favorite things that I would do so let me go ahead and get in here and show you uh, zoom in here to show you what we're gonna do so let me get that placed make sure my light is right on whoops right on everything maybe yeah, I guess that's as bright as it'll get. Um, so the celebration catalog or brochure, um, as you can see, you so you you'll order things, anything you want. You can order current catalog items or items in the new mini catalog, and you'll get a free item for every fifty dollars. And it's shown in this little brochure. Now you can also find this brochure on the. Uh, you can find a list of these items on StampinUp.com. Uh, just make sure you list me um, as your demonstrator, Jennifer Jenkins in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, I don't have a host code handy. I, all my routines are out of you know whack since I've been sick so long. So pardon me. So this is a pineapple stamp set. Oops, let me move it a little. So this pineapple stamp set is fif uh, free when you order $50 worth of items. It's a really good one. Look at that cute little potted pineapple looking thing. I mean, that one's cute. I like that. I, you know, don't always see something like that. Then you also have this option of this daffodil paper called Daffodil Afternoon. Really, really gorgeous. If you like flowers, that's a gorgeous one. And it coordinates with this uh, stamp set here. Same with the pineapple coordinates with no, this one doesn't coordinate with the stamp set or any or a paper, but this paper coordinates with this daffodil bundle. I forget the name. It coordinates with the daffodil. I think it's called daffodil delight. I could be no, that's the color. I don't know something daffodil. Um, then there's this one here, this catching butterflies. That's a sweet little one, especially if you have a little girl or you like cutesy things like I do. So that one's a good one. Um, and here's another one that's good for several different occasions, um, driving by, um, and it says, off thanks, or you've got style or driving by just to say hi. So that's kind of fun. Um, just kind of a neutral, um, neutral, um, <clears throat> what's it, neutral sentiments. And here are the stamps that coordinate with that. Okay. And this is the one that we're gonna be using to do this marble. I, have, I can't see if anyone's commenting. It's like not showing me for some reason. So anyway, comment and share. If you guys comment and share, it's always good. I'm always happy when anyone watches. Um, so this is simply marvelous. This marble paper is what we're gonna be using today. And so I'm gonna show that to you in a second. Um, it's just stunning. And then here is the otter stamp set that we're gonna be using today. But see, they show how you can use it in a variety of different ways and it has a lot of different options. 
the marvelous paper is pretty cool though. And this is the uh, Friendly Hello uh, stamps. Okay, so this one is $100. So if you spend $100, you can get this paper along with this stamp set together. And how sweet is that? Such a sweet little bird with this gorgeous paper. And this is exclusive. All of these things in this cannot be purchased. They can only be uh, exclusively ordered when you spend a minimum of 50 to to $100. I mean, if you spent $200, you could get four items or you could get two of these bundles. So it's totally up to you. Look at what they did here and they showed some examples of ways that they used it. Super pretty. I really love how it coordinates with this great ribbon. And so some of this ribbon I've shown you guys um, before. Um, let's see, what's the next one? Oh, and this one, oh, this is a good one with lots of great sentiments uh, for all occasions. And that's why this one is 100 because this one comes with 21 stamps. Um, that is a really big stamp set. I mean, really huge. And you can see there's stamp sets of all, stamps of all kinds. You're amazing, birthday, what's birthday -ing? Oh, brightening, happy birthday, congratulations, lots of different things, and they use it with all different types of sets. And so, I mean, the free items that you can get in here. Oh, and this one here is free when you host. So if you get a an order, if you purchase $300 or more yourself, um, and you're the host, you get this free stamp set. If you... Um, uh, want to have a class, you know, if you just want to make an order on your own and just list me as your demonstrator and you don't put my host code in, you would also get this stamp set for free, this um, really beautiful Calming Camellia. That's a really pretty one. Um, and that's it. Okay. So all of these items are the free items that you get in here. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything at the end. Yeah. And these are the free items you can get when you order in $50 increments or if you host a class. And remember, if you host a class, you just talk to me and we can make a little, um, we can make a little arrangements for you to, um, I get all the things that we need. Um, you collect the money, you provide a place. We could even do it via Zoom. We can do it any way you want. Um, and it's really, really <clears throat> um, fun to host a class and have your friends get together and craft. So here's the Marvelous Paper. Here's the front side. This one I think is um, Petal Pink. No, this one's polished pink and blushing. What, what is this one? Flirty Flamingo and Blushing Bride. Yeah, so Flirty Flamingo and brushing, Blushing Bride. Super cute. Okay. Then we have... Let me go to the next one. Then we have... This one's Bumblebee and another... I think So Saffron. Bumblebee and so saffron. Okay. So, and then the next one is gorgeous grape and Highland Heather. And look at this satin looking water. I mean, it's just stunning. Okay. And then this one is pool party and coastal cabana. Is that one? Yeah, pool party. The cool thing. Oh, co yeah. Coastal. On the back, it gives you all the names of the colors. And so that's what's kind of cool. That's why I keep flipping the container over. This one is a cool one too. This one is um, gray granite, I believe. So no, smoky slate and basic gray. So this one's smoky slate and basic gray. And then the last one is the one that we're gonna use today. And I was gonna use this marbled side, but I might actually use the satin side, the satin looking side, because that one actually looks a little bit better. Um, and this is the one that we're going to use today. I mean, look at how gorgeous that paper is. I mean, just stunning. So that alone is worth $50. And look, at it's a huge pack. You get 48 pieces of this paper. That's a lot of paper, you guys. It really, really is. I mean, look, it's a huge stack of paper. And it's six by six in measurements. And so, but it's perfect for what we're going to do today. So we're going to make a basic card. And see, I was going to use this marbled side, but I hadn't turned it over to the other. And so we're gonna make a basic layout because I really wanna feature this paper in the background. And then we're going to be 
stamping our little otter. So the, the design of the, the stamp is kind of uh, simple, but uh, the hard part is when you do the coloring. And so we'll go ahead and we'll get out our, our markers. And I'm just gonna test out some colors to see which one I like. The, just to show you the process. This is how I figure out which um, markers I'm going to be using. Um, when I grab my Stampin' Blends, I'm going to use Stampin' Blends because of the, um, I could use the um, the Stampin' Right markers, but they leave a little bit of a, a mark. Let's see, do I want a gray? So here's the dark gray granite. And here, I need to stamp more than one. Okay, this is ivory. This is the suede, bronze, cinnamon. I think these ones all on top are the ones I needed. I think so. I think so. No, I need one more. I kind of want the cinnamon. I think that's what I'm going to want to use. And I think, yeah, that's they come in pairs. And let's see. I think I have a pool. Par oh, but... Let's see, I don't know if we'll use, oh, you know, we need Night of Navy. That's what we need, we need Night of Navy. Because the pool party is gonna look, if you compare the pool party to our water, it's a little too light. So if I use the Night of Navy, that should be enough to give our hint of color when we're coloring our otter. And so, um, and I like, I'm gonna show you how I do it. I actually need to stamp more than one because I'll decide which which color otter I want. Do I want it to be a gray otter or do I want it to be brown? I'm leaning towards it being cinnamon cider. And see, I can use this little, I can use this little scrap piece of paper as my guide. It doesn't matter if I, I stamped it perfectly, like there's a little line here because there's a hair, cat hair on my stamp pad or somewhere, so. All right, so we can try the gray. We want to use, you always want to use the light first because you can darken it later. So here's the light. Oh, I like that gray. That actually looks good. We might wind up using the gray because I don't know, that suddenly is calling to me. Um, oh, I should have left that lighter. I can still make it lighter with the ivory. So let's see. See, this is why you practice before you color, because you know you want the otter to have two shades. And so if I use this, this on his belly, that would work, just the plain ivory. But I think having the ivory with the gray is gives a nicer texture. So I'd learn this just by playing with my, um, my markers. I figure out what colors I'm going to use just by playing and then you're supposed to do the lighter color second and it just lightens up. I don't know what it is about this ivory but the ivory lightens the original color and gives just a tiny different shade and it adds just a touch of brown. So you can see it's it's like a t it's a little bit brown. And so it just gives a different uh, texture to it. And so that's why I tend to use the ivory. And so let's take our cinnamon cider. That's one of our in colors that's going to go away. Oh, and we'll use the dark one. I think I'm gonna use the dark one to color in his like nose and his mouth and things like that. I think that's what I want for, see I needed to let that dry, it's starting to bleed. And I think I'm gonna let, his little eyebrows with the darker gray granite and maybe a little bit of this hair. Yeah, the gray granite, darker gray granite will be the outlining and the lighter for the inside, so that's good. Let me try the cinnamon cider. Let's see how it looks. I know it's kind of weird to show someone how to color, but I mean, there there is something to be said about just that practice because when you practice your design, it's just, you know, you waste a little less of your fancy cutout pieces when you practice your, your design first. Because sometimes I'll start something and think, oh, see, I totally want it to be that cinnamon cider. 
but then I'll get in it and I'm like, wait a minute. And so <clears throat> let me show you what the bronze is. See, I want, I'm going to put this light a little closer. There we go. Put that light a little closer. And so this is the bronze and see, it'll darken the bronze darkens up a color and the ivory lightens the color you see, cause it's like a vanilla. So it tends to lighten it. So I don't really want the chest to be a darker color, but I don't know if I want it to be this dark. I might just color in straight ivory for this and not actually bother using the other color to blend. I might just do it straight ivory. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then we'll use the dark cinnamon cider, um, the bullet end. You use the bullet end, whoops, can't get the lid off. You use the bullet end to just get your little hair, you know, little eyebrows here. And even his nose, I think I'll use the dark. And even maybe a little bit on his chin and his smile, just to add a little different touch of color. And just a little of the outlining. It just gives a little different texture. And see this little piece here that I'm coloring now is like kind of furry looking. So it's good when you can make it uh, blend. Oh, and see there's some fur on the edges here. And so, and so that looks good. That's cinnamon cider. And let's try the soft suede. I don't think it'll be the soft suede. I think I won't like it. Yeah, I don't really like soft suede. It's kind of a muddy, it's almost like a mix between brown and green. It has, it's brown, but it, I don't know, it has like olive tones in it. That's the only way I can describe it. And so, I hope everyone's doing great today. I can't see any comments, so pardon if I don't give you guys a shout out. I'm just chugging away. I'm just so happy I finally feel a little bit better, because man. Um, so this is the dark suede. I mean, it looks fine. Maybe if I had a different paper, I'd be motivated by this color. Um, I'm not really motivated by this color for um, our otter. And let me see what I want this to be. I think I might still wind up doing the ivory for the belly here. No, maybe not. Maybe I need to do a little bit of the suede with it. Yeah, I mean, I think it looks okay. I'm not going to use that one anyway, so I'm going to set that one to the side. But as you can see, so when you, you know, I have my design, like I told you, I'm going to be using this marvelous paper called Marvelous. I'm going to use the water side of it. I could even use this uh, marbled side because it also has that effect of uh, water look. Um, I think I like this one though. Yeah, I like that one a little bit better. And I love this Knight of Navy background as just a basic background. So let's see, do we want the gray, the cider? No, we don't want the soft sway. So it's between the gray and the cider. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me see if I can... Uh, see any comments comment if you have any opinions you guys let's see gray or cinnamon cider let's see oh there we go oh there are some comments good let me open this a little bigger there we go it was how I was trying to look at the Oh, it's Marsha. Hi, Marsha. You like the cinnamon cider with the ivory chest? I agree. I think it kind of pops a little more. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Friday. Oh, it's your son's birthday. Happy birthday to him. I'll see you at the retreat, Marsha. And so, yeah, I think the cinnamon cider, we'll go with that since Marcia says that we'll go with that. So I cut out this circle from the, um, the layered circle die, uh, dies, layering circle dies. You get a ton of dies for the price. This is the older one. I think the newer one has a different packaging, but it is fantastic. Every type of size of circle you essentially need for a card or even scrapbooking is on here. So let's go ahead and stamp our, um, let's go ahead and stamp our little otter and we'll color him in according to our little template. 
And you know what I need to do before I get rid of my template is I need to um, I need to let this dry. So before you color with the blends, you want to let your um, you want to let your ink dry a minute because otherwise it will blend with the markers. Let's try out this Knight of Navy on the. I think for the Knight of Navy it's kind of tricky. Let's see. I want to color the water. So before I move on, I'm going to make sure that I label that this one is cinnamon cider and this is ivory so that if I want to color it again later, this one is soft suede. And I just kind of put this inside my stamp case and this is ivory. And this one is ivory and um, granite, the light granite. And this is the granite, light granite, gray. Okay, and so, um, or was that smoky slate? No, it was gray granite, okay. Um, but I label my little, um, I label my, um, my template so that in the future I, you know, like, and I keep it just kind of close with my stamp set. I'll like just tuck it inside. I'll probably fold it and tuck it inside so that the next time I stamp with it, I don't have to do this guesswork all over again. Um, I'm just using the ones I have. So let's go ahead and try out some of the water and see. So here's some of the dark night of navy. Yeah, maybe we'll do all the lines in the dark and the light for the, the drops. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Or maybe we'll do them all dark. I don't really like this light night of navy. It looks okay, but I think the dark looks a little bit better. Let's try a dark drop to see if the dark drops look better. Let's see if you like it. You know, you could always do a combination um, of things. I guess having the light ones does make a difference because it just gives a different texture. Yeah, I don't like the light for the lines, but I do, it's not terrible for the dots. I don't like the, the dark on the dark. I think you have to kind of separate the two. So, okay. So I'll go ahead and tuck this into my, fold this up, tuck it into my stamp set so that I have it handy. So now that this is dry, we can go ahead and start um, coloring. So we'll take our light cinnamon cider. That's the dark one. And the blends just blend the color. They just give a nice different, a different shading. And so they blend the colors in. So I'm using the brush side to color my main part of my otter. You know, keep the design simple sometimes and just focus on one thing. Well, and me being back I'm, I was like I don't know if I can do two cards I can definitely do one two might be a little too much so let me go ahead and my neighbor I came home yesterday and my neighbor was she was super sick too um I was, felt terrible for her she sounded worse than I did when I was sick so I, I just felt for her so we'll color you don't really want to color over the black lines too much with the blends because it can bleed. And so let's take our dark cinnamon cider. Well, let me get the little ear. Um, that's the inside of his ear though, I think. So I think I want it to be ivory. You see like, cause the inside of the ear is, would be ivory. Like the belly, I feel like. I guess it could be pink too. Yeah, you don't want to color over the black lines too much. They can bleed if you, especially if you do it right after you've stamped it. You do want it to dry. Just you know, the it's the ink is not super thick. It just, it just takes a minute for it to dry. But it's better the less alcohol you're putting over your black lines, the better. And here's is this the dark one again? Yeah, I keep putting it down. 
and we want to add just a little furry texture to our little otter. And like I said, this one is free. So it's cool that this is free with your order, you know, like, um, you know, that's, it's just so cool that it's free with your order. If you just have a good order and some of us will spend $50 pretty, pretty easily. It's not like, um, it's not like, uh, it's hard to spend $50 on some basic new supplies. Sometimes I'll, I can spend $50 on just cardstock, just filling my stash of cardstock. And then I get a free sweet item. I didn't even order anything new sometimes and I'll get a free item. And so let me do the drops first. I'm gonna use the bullet to do the drops because I don't want to go out of the line. They're still a little small. And so this is the light night of navy. And here's the dark night of navy. I'll just add that little bit of texture. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just kind of guiding a little touch. I almost colored in that little drop. So let me get, I forgot the drops that are right there on that belly. Fun. Perfect. So there's all our coloring done. Let's go ahead and get our glue out and glue down our label, our layers. Get that going while that dries. I mean, it's not that the, the alcohol dr ink dries really, really quickly. It's just for, um, I just want to make sure, uh, you know, before I touch it too much, I'll let it dry. It dries within a quick minute. Okay, and so this is a uh, basic layers. These, these are not fancy layers, basic layers. And so here's our basic layers. This one, so it's a four and a quarter by five and a half um, cardstock. And then this is um, three and, or four. Yeah, four and a quarter by a uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is four inches by five and a quarter. And then the marbleized paper is three and three quarters by five inches. And then I just layered those together. I'm not gonna add any extra ribbon. I'm just gonna stick with the basics this time. Um other than the dies, you know, sometimes keeping things stamps, ink, and paper is what my friend Candy calls this. She's like, it's just stamps, ink, and paper this time. And that's, you know, that's really the heart of our business are the stamps, the ink, and the paper. And that's what I love about Stampin' Up! is the quality of it is always so good. And so, um, and so we're going to go ahead and pop him on. I do want to have a sentiment on here. And I have a sweet little sentiment that says, you're utterly awesome. It might fit right here, but I kind of am wondering if I need to have it on a separate piece of paper, a separate circled or punch. Let's check it out and see. Let me get a scrap. Oh, there's a, I thought I had a white piece. Oh, there's it, it's right there. I had it right here. The other thing about those circles, if I really wanted to keep adding some layers, I could have made a layer out of Night of Navy or the Balmy Blue. This is Balmy Blue. And could have added another layer on top and you see you had a couple layers behind this main one. But I just think the simple is good. The only thing I'm debating is this little sentiment. Oh, here's a good little scrap. And I think I'm just gonna stamp it with black. I was, probably should have gotten out my glue, but I'll just go with this. You're utterly awesome. And so let me go ahead and stamp that. Oh, that got a little smudged. That's the thing. With the rubber stamps, you don't need to press that hard. Just push down and come right back up. 
sometimes I'll press a little too hard and it, that's how you get a smudge. And so I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm gonna use this oval punch. I'm gonna trim a little off so it'll fit. I'm thinking I want this little oval. Because it's not a very big sentiment, so we don't really need it to be too large. Get it just right. Oops, little scrap pieces popping. And then our oval, like flu. Pardon my, my ears. Okay. And so, whoops. Oh, oh no, I was gonna say it moved on me. That actually looks cute. I was thinking I was gonna stamp it here, but that I kinda like that little in the corner off to the side. I think I'd like that. How simple is this little project? It was not difficult. So having this in Night of Navy would have really made that ink kind of pop, it would have just added a little extra something. We'll just use the black for now, but um, yeah, yeah. Um, but it just adds, so you see the marble looks like water and then we've got our sweet little um, otter here. I had to use this size circle because I wanted to make sure I fit the entire thing. I could have also added the sentiment right onto this piece. I think I might try, I think I'm gonna add them right to the piece, I don't know. Let me see if it'll fit. It will fit. So let me go. I'm going to add it right to our little piece. I'm changing my mind. I don't want that second little sentence. I'm just trying to keep things basic. I want to have as much of this paper showing as I can. So that's why. And let's see. Oh, that didn't work. I had it, I got too co too cocky, you see, and I moved it. So you know what we'll do is we'll cover it up with this. I got a little too cocky. I should have stamped my stuff first before I colored. So I got a little too cocky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this over here to cover it up. <laughs> so live and learn, live and learn. So I should have just trusted my instinct and put it in the corner there, but. Oh, well, I never like to waste anything I make. I always try my best to um, to just not waste. And so here I can easily cover up. It covers up a little of that water, but that's okay. Um, let me grab my dimensionals. Here we go. Oh, I'm at the end of this sheet. So we'll cover up my mistakes. No one will know they were there except all of you that saw it. But whoever gets this card won't know I have made this major mistake because I will have hidden it. Because I am sneaky like that. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's see. I just got too cocky with my stamps. And let me put, because I'm going to cover up my mistake. There we go. Covered up my mistake. And I'm also going to put dimensionals behind. Actually, that's not bad. Actually, it's not bad. I was worried the oval would look too weird on top of the circle for a minute, but it's actually not that bad. So, and that's the other thing about the blends is they bleed. Um, so that's why you don't really ever wanna have this as the main, um, like on a main white card because um, they do bleed. Cute. And so I'm done with this sheet. I use even the very edges of my dimensional sheets all the way to the very end. Waste not, want not. And see, I, I'm glad that this, I like this extra swirl here. So that's why I wanted it. I made sure to arrange it. Let me get this on straight. I already make one mistake. I don't wanna make another. 
cute. Here we go. Cute. There we go. And there's our little otter card. It's not too crazy. But again, remember, you can only get these products, the Marvelous, Marvelous Paper. What is it? Mar yeah, simple, Simply Marvelous. You can only get the Simply Marvelous Paper and the Otter stamp set when you order. If you order $50, you can choose this one. If you order $100, uh, um, you could choose this one and this one because you could get two, you know. And look at how cute this one is. I'll do this one next. This little one with the fish in his hands. I mean, he is so sweet. I love that one. They're just a fun little stamp set. I just find it to be super cute. And so that's our card for today. So nothing too crazy, you know, just try to keep it simple for you guys um, and for myself, really, not just for you. <laughs> um, the only other thing I could possibly add would be maybe a little, some kind of sentiment or something, a, a dark blue sentiment if I had some rhinestones or something, but I think I just wanna keep it basic. And so that's it. Well, you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I really always appreciate your support. Um, you can order anything you need from fabulousstamper.com or stampinup.com and you add me as your demonstrator. Um, I'm sorry I don't have the host code handy. I will have that next time. All right, have a great day, guys. Thanks.